All right, side dots, a little bit of black plastic. And basically I'm gonna use my finger as a rest, go halfway and then just draw a line all along and hope I don't get a splinter. And then it's a case of halfway along each fret slot. So then a braddle. I realize that going into this much detail may well actually push us over time. Uh, what is the time? It is currently 20 minutes past three. I don't think I'm going to make it. Okay. That says it's two mil, I don't believe it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, <coughs> super glue. Uh, what I'm gonna do is pour super glue into the tip, into the end of that, and then you dip your inlay in, and if I can find the correct, there we go. Whoops, here we are. Let me just go along like that. So I'm actually pushing it in using the snips. Snipping it off. And we're sorted. bit of plastic is very short. Oh, in you go, come on. All right. In a rush, super glue accelerator is your friend. May also give you cancer, but you know. So, Crimson Guitars, leveling beam. This is... Uh, just helping me sand this down quickly. I'm not going for perfection. Uh, we had a radius already put on this fretboard. Ow, that hurt. Uh, and that was put on with a router. I could use a plane to do this, but the wood is cross-grained. Now the benefit of using a leveling beam is that it's perfectly straight and, and long, so it's, it's giving me a pretty good finish and it's also allowing us to keep the fretboard flat and straight, um, which is great. This will also work for getting these down. There we go, that'll do. One side's very coarse grit, the other side is fine. So, 
Let's just get this fretboard down to where I want it. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is, after all, the cigar box guitar. <laughs> Done rapidly. Polyurethane, it's fun, who knew? <laughs>